<clears throat> the men's basketball team plays once this week, facing Iowa in Iowa City on Saturday at 11 a.m. on ESPN. Head coach Bo Ryan is here, and we'll take questions. Well, if my, ma if my math is right, this is your second longest stretch between games all season. Does it come at a good time, this break? Well, it works like this, Jim. We can't change it. So you just make the best of it. Uh, hopefully you get some of the nicks um, healed up, just like everybody has. I, I can't believe how many injuries there's been in the league this year. It just seems like more of the uh, key players uh, for teams have either been knocked out for the season or knocked out for weeks. Um, so it's that close to that midsection or mid part of the Big Ten. Um, we know how physical a conference it is, so you just hope you can survive. Jeff? Bo, when, when Trey went down, a lot of the focus has been on um, Bronson and how he would fill in for you. But what has Josh done? You know, because he, he, he takes a little bit of the point now as well. What's he done to kind of help ease things along and keep you guys on track? Just stayed steady. Just stayed true to himself, uh, to himself and his game, the way he plays. He hasn't tried to overdo anything. Just keep it, it keeps an even keel. Still plays very good defense. Um, and it shows. Jesse? Well, you talked after the Michigan game about how much Frank means to this team. What to you is more impressive, the leap he made from his sophomore year to his junior year, or the leap he's made from his junior to his senior year, given that he's become the focal point of other team scouting reports now? Well, yeah, he's um, he's been marked, and with all the different recruiting or uh, scouting tools that we have with Synergy and everything else, they they know each, each player pretty well. So for him to be able to still improve on his numbers from last year, obviously, was no longer a surprise. So... He's been very impressive this year, and obvious uh, it was all you got to do is look at a game where he might not have been on the court, if you can think of any, to know how valuable he is. Jeff? You alluded to the, the injuries. I know <coughs> Sam cut his hand against, Mich against Michigan on Saturday. Is he going to be good to go at practice today? Or are there going to be any lingering effects there that you know of? Uh, I'll know when we go to practice. I, I don't know yet. I haven't, I haven't gotten my... Um, text or my email on injuries. The coach doesn't know anymore usually until a few hours before practice so, or an hour before or right before practice because Henry keeps trying to work his magic. But when they said they used glue, I was, where did they get that from? Because we're not allowed to talk about injuries, but somebody said that the announcer said that they glued his hand. Is that like underinflated balls? They're easier to catch? And like, like if you have stick them or glue, you remember the days of stick them for the older people in the room? It helped you to grip the basketball and you could dunk a lot easier and maybe we'll have to find some of that glue. I just never heard of a wound being glued. I don't get around much, but. I know every part of your everyday practice is part of, the fundamentals are a big part of that. Do you do, with this long between games, do you, early in the week, do you focus on stuff that you want to see this team do better at? I mean, do you use these next two or three days for development more than getting ready for Iowa? Oh yeah, well we'll do we'll do a little bit of both. But um, you know, we'll do some things that uh with shooting and with defensive movement, um you, you don't have as much contact now. Uh and people say contact. What are, yeah, if you play a regular game, you think about all the contact that's made with another person in basketball without any pad at all. There's a lot of contact, so uh, you cut back on that a little bit. But it doesn't mean you walk through anything or do ev everything we do is at game speed. Uh, 
Do you feel like you have a good read on the league at this point? It seems like different teams have kind of been bopping into that second role, third place role, kind of up and down with various teams. Is it feel kind of wide open at the top still at this point? Sure. It's the Big Ten. You see what it's like getting on the road. Um, we were the only road team to win over the weekend, if I'm not correct. Am I, Patrick? That's one you didn't think of? Your crack crew? Name another visiting team that won in the Big Ten this weekend. Can anyone? It's not like a test. It's, I don't think so. How much, how much easier does it make it to go through the scout team preparations when you're playing a team twice in 11 days? How much what? Does it make it easier to go through the scout team preparations and prepare for Iowa when you're playing them twice in 11 days? Well, I don't think it, it's the term easier I would use. Um, they're more familiar, but it also means you still have to execute. And our, that also means our scout team's better at running what Iowa runs because they they only had one other team in between there. So when we go back over with the scout team, what Iowa does, Ethan and Jordan and those other guys are licking their chops. Heck, we, we know this. We can be better at Iowa stuff this time. So, um, But you still have to worry about yourself more so than the opponent. Scouting is important, but what's the most important is what your team is is doing to get ready. Anything else for Coach? All right. All right. Thanks, Coach.